y'all, NSRA Knoxville 2016, and I got a 63 Beetle Volkswagen Bug, 303 horse at the wheels. Motor's all polished, black metal flake paint. You just gotta see the thing. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Eric, that's an awesome bug, brother. Cool deal, thanks, sir. Tell me a little bit about it. It's a 63 rag top, last year the rag top. We've got two inch wide fenders on the front of it. We've got a widened bumpers, everything's widened. It's got a black diamond metallic paint that come on 2011 cat v we've actually put two extra coats of pearl seven coats of clear on it so that that's a ctsv color yes sir uh, cadillac yes GM. Sir. what year uh 2011. boy that's beautiful man thanks sir man alive yeah we got a 18 by 10s on the back billet special 17 by 7s on the front willow wood racing brakes on it manufactured bumper brackets they're all polished aluminum sanded and polished me and my father-in-law did those and those fenders are wider but they don't look like they're wider you guys yeah. kept the form and the shape yeah. and everything on them to what it doesn't jump out is these things are a lot wider than yeah it should yeah be. those are actually uh fiberglass or uh, a guy in a car craft magazine that makes the fenders oh, okay we had the running boards made to make them wider that way the fenders didn't look like they were just blown out by ah, themselves gotcha. so they're custom made running boards to make it all look the same. Most running boards are real, real flimsy. Those are like eighth inch aluminum, real, real thick. So you can ride on them? Yeah, you can jump up and down on them. I wouldn't recommend it, but yes. Sir. And then it lays on the ground? Yeah, we go all the way to the ground. Man, a lot. It, it's got about a nine inch travel from top to the bottom. Nine inches? Yep. Holy cow, so you can go from the ground to almost like a four wheel drive. Yes, sir. Yeah, ah. we, yeah, I've got to do a little adjustment here and there on it, but it's real, real close to where it needs to be. Is this the first show it's been out? Um, we've been to four. It's doing real well. Yeah, we've won. Yeah, we've won everything we've went to so far. Awesome. And we've actually top five here. Cool. At Builder's Choice. Builder's Choice at NSRA Knoxville. Yes, sir. In the land of hot rods. Yes, Volkswagen, sir. top five. Yeah, we, we even got interviewed by the guys that work at NBC on um, NBC Sports. They was like, "Why you got a Volkswagen for them? Because like, everybody else has got their thing. I got my thing. I wanted something different to stand out. And you got on Scotty DTV. And got on Scotty DTV. I can't beat that, right? I've been waiting on it forever. <laughs> Wow, Eric, that is way cool, brother. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we got some six by nines. We got two sets of those. We got six and a half here, here. We got eight inch subs in the back. We got um, fans down here that cool the uh, subs up or the amps up, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, wow. and then it takes the air in from somewhere and blows yeah. it out somewhere then, else. You see the seats on the side, the seat rails, you got those oh, holes, yeah. that's where it blows it down oh, through okay. there. Oh, that is really cool. We got two 12s that shoot straight to the back, and there's a screen back there to cover all that back there. This this has all been five. So you got two nines and two 12s? Two eights and two 12s. Holy smokes, dude. This right here has been all fiberglass and bondo, so there's no foam in any of it. That way it's all hard leather and nothing else to it. It doesn't rattle or anything. David Corn over at this pro stick did an awesome job with all that. Awesome, man. That is really nice. Some Dakota digital gauges? Yes, sir. We got all Dakota digital gauges. We got um Billet specialist in the aluminum steering wheel. We got the whole center console is made out of quarter inch aluminum. Dakota digital boost gauge, air ride technology system on it. We got the dual switches for the lights, LED lights. We got push button start. We got a um, quarter inch aluminum floor mats that's bolted to the actual bottom of the panel so nothing moves on the whole car. Man, you overbuilt this thing, didn't you? We tried to. We tried to. It wasn't but yet it looks cool and it doesn't look heavy and overbuilt. It just looks nice man very thank, nice thank yeah that's sir. nice too what's happening under here okay we got a nice aluminum gas tank it's about 15 gallons we've got grills right here where you can see all the way through where the fuel pump system is the brake reservoir system there's one inch thick lexan in here to keep air other outside air from blowing through and then we got led lights all through here so at night time we can see everything underneath here just like it's there's nothing there it's crazy how cool is that this is all fiberglass panels here wrapped in bondo so it's i mean it's literally just rock hard all the way around just all smooth all curls everything rolls in together here and that rod's got a magnet or something on yes it. sir yeah it's aluminum we didn't want it to flop up and down so we actually drilled holes and put magnets in that and put steel bolts in this part so when it's locked down it locks in there dude you all just engineered the heck out of this that way no flopping around very nice job yeah old corn he knows what he's going on there pro stitch and the first thing, obviously, aesthetically, this thing caught my eye. But right. then I started talking to maybe your dad. My father-in-law. Yeah, and he was telling me it has 330. 303 horsepower at the Holy rear wheel, and about 12 pounds of boost. Tell me about it. It's uh, Chris Law for VW Paradise in California. We got turbo. The turbo's tucked in underneath here. Got our fuel injections. 2386 cc's. 
Most turbos, when they come up on the Volkswagen, they come up on this side right here and they got a short piece and a long tube. Well, this is the first one that they actually brought it up to the center because I wanted everything to be balanced right. on the so whole much. car. Yeah. The whole block has been sanded and polished aluminum. Everything's polished. Yes, sir. The only and thing, then the interior piece, too, right? You yeah. finished that out. Yeah. He wanted to make the front look like the back, so that's where we got that piece right there. And <laughs> the only thing on the whole motor that's not uh, chrome is, or this right here is chrome, the little pull on the back. Everything else yeah, is all polished. polished aluminum. So there you go, folks. A 63 Beetle Bug 303 horse at the wheels, customized. How cool is that? NSRA Knoxville 2016. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See ya!